So first of all, download the Red Lab in your computer by clicking. It start automatically downloading after some time. New user, enter your name, close ASM password. Experiment load the experiment. Okay, and uh, in there there are other options are select next environment, air, water, vacuum, delete the experiment, view, and draw particle path, view experiment sheet. Okay, so help there is a help section and help. password manage, manage user, create experiment, delete experiment. So I will show you. Uh, one coefficient thermal flux and source strength determination with the PF3 absolute activity measurement with the sodium using uh, sodium 22 using coincidence technique alpha spectroscopy beta endpoint determination for uh, helium 204 so gamma ray spectro Spectroscopy and linear dimension option determination. So this is the experiment. Equipments you require that is two by two sodium iodide power supply, ventilation, pre amplifier, spectroscopy amplifier, multi channel analyzer, MCA, oscilloscope, collimator, CZ one thirty seven, and uh, cobalt sixty, and two to three millimeter aluminium plates. So the purpose of this experiment is to familiarize the student with some basic techniques used for measuring gamma ray based on uh, use of sodium iodide and to measure experimentally linear attenuation coefficient of aluminium for uh, amplifier, re-amplifier and main amplifier. So power supply. So we can remove the power supply and uh, this is called limiter signal multiplier and MCA. Multi channel. Okay. As there is a problem faced by you in running this red lab or the assignment of this week, thus I decided to share you some tips that how to use this uh, gamma ray uh, spectroscopy ap apparatus or uh, app. So it is a virtual uh, lab of radiation physics. So there are lots of uh, options in this uh, simulation. So you can uh, start with selecting the experiment. And uh, after selecting the experiment, you can edit it and save your experiment as it is. So there is a help section in this. You should go through this help section before using it so lots of help and for each topic the help is there how to use it and uh, how to save the file so all are given mass number or spectros uh, scattering simple channel analyzer and the bibliography is there so you must go through before uh, using this app and uh, uh, as far as the assignment is concerned I assigned you to perform uh, a spectroscopy experiment to measure linear attenuation coefficient for aluminium so instrument instrument that you find there is a which is of aluminium. You select it 
and place it between the source and uh, the detector okay. so you can change the thickness of this uh, aluminium sheet from here to vary the thickness from uh, 10 to 100 uh, millimeter so this thickness is in millimeter or uh, as you as for your desire okay you can vary it and uh, note the uh, intensity at given energy so as i have used here cesium 137 that is energy is 662 so there is a peak of cesium this is the peak of cesium of 662 so and uh, the, uh, another source is cobalt 60 there are two peaks of cobalt 60 there is uh, 1173 uh, and 1332.5 kdv so you can use any of the four so i recommend cesium 137 uh, because it gives only single peak it is easy to measure its attenuation coefficient first you try with cesium 137 then same experiment same setup replace the source with the uh, cobalt 60 so at different you have to perform the measurement without uh, placing the sheet between the source and detector so that gives you the intensity uh, initial intensity or i dot and then by placing the sheet between the source and the detector uh, it gives you uh, only attenuated intensity and you know the thickness p so from the simple exponent generation i is equal to i naught e raises to power minus mu into t so from this expression you can calculate linear attenuation coefficient of uh, aluminium so you must uh, uh, check cross check it from x form or the x form for the aluminium for that and for example cesium 662 kv okay so compare this experimental result with the practical result it's a simple experiment and the setup is given in the screenshots on the website also so you can check it from there so it is very very easy place uh, you can change their locations but set uh, important point is that you must set this supply uh, voltage to 0.9 into uh, this that this switch should be on the off when it is off make it on k kilo volt or in this side so keep it is in on the right side so click here and it gives you What is on, on MA side? Then on. Please ensure that it should be pressed on the right side. Then make the connection. So this is the power supply voltage. That is uh, that cable is in red. This is the power supply high voltage signal cable, and uh, this is the logic signal cable, and this is the signal cable, and this is the pre amplifier voltage uh, signal cable. This is a VGA, like a VGA uh, cable. So this is VGA port. So place it VGA port with the lost violet wire. So then MCA. So this is the output of MCA. You don't need this uh, single scope. You can remove it. So remove this uh, signal multi track too. And uh, next. It will clear. Then run. When you press run, it starts emitting radiations and it gets start getting the spectrum. So in this case, as uh, uh, already I have collected the uh, spectrum of uh, cesium and uh, cobalt 60, 
So I, I want to clear it. So in order to clear it, you can click here and uh, I uh, remove this. Okay. So if I want to move all the operators, select it and move down. And uh, you can move it down. Okay. So and uh, then I want to show you the demonstration. Then I will stop. If you have any query, you should go to the help and the website, and you can also write to me. But you must try. You must try. You can you can design your own experiment in this uh, uh, app also. So this, uh, but the, uh, this uh, app or uh, I can say virtual lab runs in the on the platform of Java. So the wonderful, wonderful experiment that uh, without the exposure of it, the exposure to the radiation, you can understand, you can uh, uh, visualize, you can uh, have hands on the experiment uh, of uh, nuclear physics on your desktop. So within, within one minute, you see the peaks are forming here. This is the back scattered. This is the back scattered peak. Back scattered peak, and this is the original peak of uh, cesium uh, 137. Okay, you can also calibrate it. You can calibrate it. Make calibration. So I have already calibrated it. Okay. So when you start, you can calibrate it also. Okay. So in order to calibrate, you can write. X title, log title, minimum, maximum value here on X scale, uh, or minimum value, maximum value on Y scale, minimum value or maximum value also. So it is customable. You can customize it as per your convenience. Okay. So see, uh, peak of so cesium 137 is here. So you have to measure its intensity. So how you measure the intensity? Intensity can be measured by placing this uh, pointer on the peak. So after getting this result, you can calculate the counts. So you place this the peak and uh, note the counts this is the center of the peak and the area under the peak this is, this is the area under the peak okay you calculate after given time fix the time this is the real time live time or real time when uh, and seconds in seconds. Fix it for 600 seconds. After 600 seconds, uh, you note the uh, area under this peak. So this gives the inten intensity. Okay. So intensity uh, I not can be calculated from the area under the peak. That is without placing any source after 600 seconds. Then again, uh, refresh it and uh, set, uh, place the aluminium sheet between the source and detector. Again, start the experiment for the same setup. And uh, after 600 seconds, note the area under the peak of cesium 137. Okay, that it is at 662. You can also calibrate or you can do it without calibration because you know the peak here. So this is the back scattered peak, you can ignore it. The strong peak is here. So I think it, it is a useful to you. That's all.